Okay, once we got on orbit, uh, the view from space was just spectacular. Uh, one of the objectives of our mission was to deploy the INSAT satellite, and this is uh, the cockpit arrangement associated with deploying the satellite. In this particular view, uh, Dan is actually operating the 16-millimeter camera uh, panning the cockpit. You can see Dick over there on the left. He's um, sort, of, sort of supervising the operation. There's Dale. He's going to be handling the cameras and the uh, switches. And I'm working from uh, the commander's seat up front, uh, sending out commands through uh, keyboard. Dan sat in the pilot seat during this operation, uh, sort of monitoring the uh, motion of the vehicle, making sure that it was steady and that the, uh, with the you know there were very few uh, vibrations of any sort. This is a picture of the INSAT uh, actually being deployed from the uh, spacecraft. You can see that the, the deploy went very smoothly. At the moment of deploy, there was a large thump, and uh, as I said, the uh, the spacecraft was deployed very smoothly and uh, there were no vibrations or no uh, precession of the satellite as it left the uh, payload bay. Another aspect of our mission was uh, checking out the uh, TDRS uh, network. And so the uh, shuttle flew various different uh, attitudes uh, during the mission, uh, uh, checking out the KU band, and this is the picture of the KU band antenna that was used to check out the, uh, the TDRA satellite. Another task, of course, was the uh, work with the RMS and the PFTA, the payload flight test article. Uh, in this view, I had the 16 millimeter camera and uh, tried to give you a look at what the uh, RMS, the arm, looks like in its normal berth position. Here it is stowed as it is for launch and entry, and those times on orbit when it's not actually being used, it actually rolls in on those, uh, on those pylons, those mounts that you can see on the bottom. The, uh, this is a view in the uh, aft flight deck. I'm over at the uh, arm uh, station, and Richard's to the left to fly the vehicle. Here you can see uh, the arm going in towards grapple fixture number five. Remember, that's the one on the front of the PFTA. You can see here it looks like we're losing losing the view of the uh, arm as it goes behind the DFI pallet in the front. However, from the cockpit, that was a very comfortable thing to do, and it never appeared to us that we were getting close to contact. This is uh, lifting the PFTA out in direct mode, where I'm moving one joint at a time, again on grapple fixture 5. And here's a shot with grapple fixture 2. A lot of the tests were putting the arm and the PFTA up in various configurations and then putting pulses into the orbiter or into the arm and seeing what the relative motions were between the two. So while we were doing that, of course, we got some fantastic views of the Earth uh, down below and uh, had the cameras always at the ready to, uh, to get good pictures. Arm operations were extremely, uh, extremely smooth. Richard and I had had no problems operating it from the aft flight deck. You can see that we didn't bother to restrain ourselves in any way when we didn't want to, and uh, the whole task was, uh, was very easy.